also in pay gap in races as well. Mm -hmm. okay. That's all I got to say about that. Okay. Well, uh, everybody, please like the video. I, we got a bunch of people up in here. Please like the like it up. This is the most we've ever had. Thank y'all for, for showing up. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna ask this question, but then Pearl, I want you to go in uh, on the gender stuff on okay. or the pay gap. Okay. Um, question to the blonde: Does she hold a WNBA season ticket and buy the players' jerseys? Do you want to buy me one? Do you <laughs> yeah. want to go together? It'd be pretty cheap. You could just get. I'll one. go with you. Honestly, like I really want to go to some football games. Really want to go to some b-ball games. Hey, nothing, I'm happy to support women. <laughs> Women's. So, football. hey, if you want to go together, hit me up. Yeah, and she uh, says she'll pay. Uh, I got you. I have enough money. Leo Moore. <laughs> You're broke. Said, Leo Moore. You probably are. <laughs> Leo Moore said, and who is paying for women's? Here, click it again, JR. And who is paying for women's OnlyFans? It depends. Well, I mean, who's, who's watching? I'm actually. We paying. never said we didn't appreciate that. I don't have an OnlyFans, but I'm sure women appreciate you men for paying for that OnlyFans monthly. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> on their behalf. Here, we're we're gonna go back and let Pearl. Uh, I I want to hear um because I I honestly don't know a lot about the gender pay gap either. I just learned a lot from them, so I'd love to hear this side. Yeah, um, I think in 2022, any girl that complain, I'm I'm not talking about race because that's the first thing people always bring in. I'm talking about female to male. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I think in 2022, if you're complaining about the pay gap as a woman, you're probably just lazy. Um, I have never had a problem getting the same pay as a guy. Um, one issue is that women don't ask for raises. So 60% of women have never asked for a raise and they quit before they ask for a raise. So how can we be afraid or how can we be mad that we don't get paid as much if we don't ask for, for more money? Um, second thing I would say is that... You know, we work less hours, so they do studies where they see how many hours a girl works, and we actually get paid more when you account for hours worked. And the industries we choose, we'll talk about equal pay when it comes, or equal, you know, um, they want us to be in like the 1% and all that stuff, but they never talk about the positions like plumbers, bricklaying, mm. um, any of the hard jobs women don't want to do, so we get paid less because we don't like to do hard jobs or ask for raises. I feel like also women are like obviously mothers, so, and I feel like who gets called when something's wrong with the kids mm -hmm. or something needs to be done at the house the woman usually go take goes and takes care of that mm -hmm. so the like you said what's wrong with the house no i'm saying like the men you know if they do get they like she said mm -hmm. men put in more hours what you said if something's wrong with the house who gets called no you know what i mean like usually your husband or your man is the provider so mm -hmm. you wouldn't be like oh hey babe can you leave your providing job to go to the house and meet with the guys who are checking the roof. Usually he would send his wife to do that. It's, you know, okay. it's just kind of that type of thing. Something else. Yeah, I mm -hmm. can see that. Yeah. Can I jump on what she said, actually? Because she brings up a really good point. Yeah. Women actually are not asking for raises because we've been conditioned to not rock the boat. We've always been told, you know what? Stay quiet. Don't really make any noise. You know, like maybe eventually you'll get a promotion if you're well behaved, you keep your mouth shut and always do what you're told. Yeah, that's it, why it sounds like an excuse to me. Um, I've always been able to go ask for a raise if I wanted a raise. So I have no sympathy. And that's great. I have no sympathy. And I'm not going to blame society if you're too scared to ask for a raise. Um, grow a pair, ask for a raise. And I agree with you 100 percent. I mm -hmm. think that that should be the attitude for women. We should all be taught to think like a man. To mm -hmm. be thinking like, okay, because that men have always been told, mm -hmm. you know what, you deserve that. You should ask for that. We but it's not, it's not society. It's gender differences. We're more agreeable. So Correct. If, if you, if, Correct. If, I so, agree. but that's not society. That's innate. Mm -hmm. Because, because what they do is they, they take women um, from countries that are more, that are more free and less free. Mm -hmm. And the pay gap increases with the more freedom we have. Are we talking about corporate jobs? I just want to clarify real quick because most of the jobs before I was self-employed, mm -hmm. I did like hospitality, like serving jobs. Mm -hmm. And obviously as a woman in a serving job, I make way more money than the, the boy servers. Or yeah, and that's servers. The other thing. So I can't really like debate at the same time because mm -hmm. I'm like, now I make my own prices, but before mm -hmm. I was making more money than the men in my job because I worked hospitality and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So yeah, and certain it's... industries, women definitely dominate. Even in like barber versus hair salon, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. women hairdressers make more money. Mm -hmm. I think a good way to kind of encourage women to ask for raises is like for society when a woman's asking for a raise, learn your worth. Mm -hmm. 
when a woman's asking for a raise, don't be like, oh, she's being aggressive. Because men are praised for doing that. Oh, good for you, man, for yeah. asking for that raise, for doing that. Then mm. let's praise women for the same thing as well. We get um, praised all the time. Again, like... We're making if generalizations. You, if you ask for a raise... I could use the no, praise. If you, get, if you get asked for a raise, like, honestly, nobody's going to call you aggressive. Like, it's, that's just bullshit. Well, you don't know excuses. that. Excuses. No, no excuses. That depends. You don't know that. Too. I do want to say, my mom's coworker. Um, she was asking, she asked for a raise about a few times, like more than a few. And she actually got honored her raise, like about, I think like three, four times, mm -hmm. but she's still asking for a raise over and over. Mm -hmm. Like, so they did call her aggressive, mm -hmm. but also she did get a raise three times okay. and she doesn't deserve a raise, but she was called aggressive for keep, they might, like, they keep might call them. They might call the men aggressive too, but the men say, okay, screw you. I'll go get another and they don't job. Ever talk about it again. What? They're, we don't hear from the men when they're get when they get called aggressive. Like you said, they'll go find another job. Yeah, like they're not they're not gonna sit there more. whining. They just say, okay, screw this. I'll go to another company and get my pay. I want to mm -hmm. get my experience on. I actually made more than a man in a uh, a sales job that I was at. Um, I was making seventeen an hour mm -hmm. compared to my guy counterpart. He was making fifteen, and the only reason why I was making two dollars extra an hour was because I spoke Spanish. So I had to do on the phone. I had to speak both English and Spanish on this job. Well, we, I was told very clearly to never say how much I was getting paid at this job. I was told to keep my mouth shut. Don't say anything. And they specifically told me the starting rate for this job is 15 an hour. So I would, I would appreciate, and I would hope that you honor code that you don't talk about it. Okay. Months went by, I didn't say a word and it wasn't until, you know, I slipped, I slipped up. I was in, you know, taking a break and, um, this guy had been there maybe a year longer than me and he was still only making 15. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, oh yeah, no, in 17 an hour, that's really good compared to, you know, what, I, and it just slipped out, right? Mm -hmm. Human error. And I kid you not, about two months later, I got fired. It's a conflict of interest as well. Cause it's just kind of like, yeah, you're bilingual, but then it starts, he, he's going to the boss's office. Like, why is she doing A, B, and C? And a, he a, did. And C? And he did. And he actually made a scene about it that I actually walked away because I felt so uncomfortable. He made me cry in front of the whole sales floor. And he was saying like, how dare you have, you know, because you're already showing off with your Spanish skills. So why is it that you have to actually make more than me when I, because I wasn't gifted, I wasn't blessed to speak two languages. Why is it that I have to make less than you? And I was like, because I'm, I'm actually doing double the work. Mm -hmm. Don't you like, why are you shaming me for a, my value B, my experience. And, and, and I cried, I cried in front of everyone because he did that so publicly. And again, I tell you two weeks at uh, two months later, they found a way for me to be let go. Hmm. And that to me, I I've always carried that because I was actually very proud that I was like, wow, I'm actually making more than my male counterparts, this is really exciting. Like, hey guys, maybe the pay gap isn't real. You know, that's what I was thinking. And then that happened to me and I was like, wow, what a coincidence. Mm. But I think that's more like you disobeyed what they said. And I know it's an accident, but like they told you not to, like, it's just like they, they told you that there would be a consequence if you did that or okay. they said not to. And then and you I did accept it. Yeah. that. I accept that 100% that that was definitely my fault. However, I think that there should be so that we have equality mm -hmm. of the workplace why can't we have open transparency mm -hmm. of payments if yeah. we're all doing the same job i right? hire people i'd rather not do that okay <laughs> yeah i'd rather not. like i said i feel like that's a conflict of interest and then like what happened they were mm -hmm. trying to avoid that scene like everybody knew obviously you deserved the two dollars you had your credit mm -hmm. from your bosses you know like you didn't need credit from your coworker. well that's probably i feel like that's how as like you know, well, that's people, how they but I it. think the problem is people start to get entitled because they feel like like exactly what happened in that situation. So if I'm hiring five people and I know this guy's the most productive. Right. And I, I know he deserves more money or she, whoever mm -hmm. it is. And let's say I pay them seventy five thousand dollars a year and I pay someone else 50 when when they find out about the gap, the other person might feel like they're just as qualified and they might feel like they do just as much work. But I'm the boss. Like I'm the boss. I see I see who actually does the most work. And that's why you can't have pay transparency because you have people that feel like they're worth more than they are. Mm -hmm. And I think on that note, though, wouldn't it be nice for everyone to know going into the job? Okay, 
this person right here actually is making a little more because they have an extra skill that I don't have. Why, uh, why don't I go out and learn that extra skill so that I can be price matched with what you, that other person is? That sounds nice. And I think if I was like, an like uh, when I was on the other side, I might have agreed. But like people just start to get entitled. And even though even if they're a whole hell of a lot less productive, like it's night and day. Mm -hmm. It's like people just have this ego. And it's yeah. like, you can't, and I even, agree. even with the, that guy, like everyone else probably could have said she deserves more money. Mm -hmm. she's, she's better. You're but not. even, even when they have that, like that's, that's not even just a guy thing. Like that's just a human thing. I think mm -hmm. also it was the shock. I think for, and this is just me putting myself in his shoes for, for right now. I think it was more the shock of him learning that I was making, and he was there longer than me. Yeah. And so that's why I'm saying, I think it would be yeah. more fair for mm -hmm. everyone on the floor and everyone in the mm -hmm. job to know how much each person is so, making. So if that, if that happened, you probably wouldn't have got the 17 to start. No, you no, know, that's what that's what I mean, because like I'm thinking of it from the employer's point mm -hmm, of view. Like mm -hmm. if I have this one guy, maybe he's like mid, like a mid employee. Mm -hmm. Right. So like he, he's making 15 an hour and I bring in this new girl and I'm like, oh, she's got, she's so much more productive. She's going to make my life so much easier. She mm -hmm. deserves the 17. No matter what, he's still going to feel some type of way because he's mm -hmm. been there longer. Sure. Let, right. let me ask you a question. You do you believe that uh, men and women's pay should be equal? I absolutely do. So why did you say you were happy when you were making more than your male counterparts? <laughs> okay. Did you get That's that from the comments? Wait. I did. And that was a good point. And I'm asking oh, you now. I, I, I'm, I, I agree. Okay. And here's the thing. I, I agree that everyone should be making the same amount. However, like I mentioned, I was actually doing double the work. I was actually having to speak in the Spanish language and the English language. And not only that, in my particular sales, in the Spanish division, I had to actually explain what it was that I was selling. So not only was I selling, I was also having to describe what it was that I was selling. Whereas in the English department, everyone knows what a home security system is in the United States. But in other Latin countries, a home security system is literally the dogs of the house. And so to have to explain this, so like literally I had to spend an hour on each phone call. So it was really exhausting work just to like talk about that. So I, yes, to answer your questions, I believe that everyone should be making the same amount. I, and, and here's another example. They ended up hiring another dude and he was also making 17 an hour. So we were both doing the same job. He was making 17, I was making 17 and he was speaking Spanish. Good. Well, no, I, uh, here, I'm, I'm gonna get to you in just a second, bro. So we can keep doing the same.